Well, a delicious turn. Sweet peaches bursting with flavor remind us of those warm breezes of summertime, which today is feels very far away. Chef Andre Smith walks us through the steps on creating an easy to make dish that you can enjoy all year long. Take a look. You can enjoy the sweetness of summer this fall and winter. Our next guest is going to show us how easy it is to make a savory grilled peach salad. Oh man, we welcome Chef Andre Smith back to Virginia this morning. It has been way too long, Chef Andre. Good to see you, sir. Great to see you. All right, so grilled peach, is, did I get that right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. I've never even heard of grilling a peach. I love peaches, I love the grill, so I think we're gonna have a winner. <laughs> Where yes. do we start? All right, so here at Commonwealth Senior Living, we pride ourselves to farm and farm to table dining. Um, the biggest thing with us, we teamed up with Babylon Micro Farms, and we actually grow all of our lettuce in house. So today I'm using red bib lettuce. I'm using iceberg lettuce. I'm using microgreens, uh, Swiss chard. We're using fresh basil, fresh mint, fresh dill. We have a little bit of everything here. And we're gonna incorporate all this into this grilled peach salad. Um, the biggest thing also, like I say, we grow it in house, so we use hydroponics. Um, hydroponics, we do not use any soil, it's straight water-based. So with these hydroponics, we're harvesting our own greens. Look at that, that's so beautiful. There's no dirt involved, no soil. So we're getting clean greens for our residents. Um, of course, so when you, you started, Chef Andre, you said yeah. you grow it all in house, and I was about to ask, do you have a greenhouse there? But all of this is done with hydroponics, and how big of a space do you need to do all of that? We actually have a large uh, unit, a large box that we use, and it all it all has tiers, it all has zones. Um, you can go on BabylonMicroFarms.com. Um, and definitely see the farms. And those are the farms that we're definitely using in our you know, residence communities uh, here at Commonwealth Senior Living. Wow, all right, let's get going. Let's get the get grilled going. peach started. So, yes, we're gonna get going with our lettuce. Like I say, I'm starting with the red bib lettuce. Um, I'm gonna put the iceberg lettuce and I'm gonna just get a rough chop on these. We're gonna get a rough chop. Gonna put that in. Then I'm gonna mix in our dill. I'm just picking our dill. We're not we're not messing too much with our dill and our basil and our mint. We really wanna get those flavors in. So we're definitely just picking those. I'm gonna pick our mint. We're just gonna get a little toss in there, get everything nice and mixed up. We're gonna save our Swiss chard to the end because we wanna use that kind of as garnish. Um, I'm gonna go to our dressing, and this is how easy the salad is. I'm gonna go to our dressing, so I'm gonna go orange juice. I'm gonna go shallots. I'm gonna go Dijon mustard. I'm gonna go red wine vinegar. All of these things are pretty much stuff that everybody kind of has around their house anyway. Yes. I mean, yes. Nothing exotic so yeah. far. <laughs> yes. A pinch of salt and pepper. You can definitely do this at home. And we're going to go with honey. And the most important part, save the olive oil to the end because you want to make an emulsification. A lot of times when you do dressings, you want to make sure that your dressing holds. You do not want your dressing falling apart. So I'm gonna slowly whisk in the olive oil. Get you know, when, you, when we've had you in the studio, we've learned so much from you about cooking and chemistry. And you just gave yes. us another lesson there to put the olive yes, oil in last. And as you wish, you will start to see your dressing definitely come together. Because if you do not do this, you're definitely gonna see what you usually hear everyone, every chef says, oh, my sauce broke. Um, so yeah. it'll definitely be watery <laughs> and it'll just be really loose. Uh, so we have our- 
dressing. Yeah, you definitely don't want to break your break your sauce. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put our greens on this beautiful plate. Pull that plate back a little bit because it's out of the camera shot, uh, Andre. Yeah, pull that back a little bit. There we go. Now we can see it. Yes. All right, so I have some candied walnuts, maple Ooh. candied walnuts. <laughs> this is sounded better every second. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I have some sliced red onions. Love onions. Need some bite to your salad. Definitely need some bite to your salad. Yeah. And the most important part, your grilled peaches. Grilled peaches. Get now, when you, peaches. you say grilled peaches, you put them on the grill, and how long does it take a slice of a peach to grill? A slice of a peach takes rather like two minutes, two to three minutes. Um, you want to really get that grill going. Um, yeah. Quick here. Once the peach sets, your peach is, is sweet. It's so sweet and savory. Um, you definitely get those flavors out of it. You do. You, yeah. Once you do it, you do not want to go back to just grabbing a peach and eating it. You're going to put them on the grill every time. <laughs> it yeah. kind of caramelizes a little bit. Yes. We yeah. have our Swiss chard, our microgreens. And our microgreens are really neat. Um, they really pack a lot of nutrients. So I'm going to go a little close up. They're pretty cool. Um, these are called Bright Lights um, Swiss chard. We're going to go with our dressing. That fresh dressing that we just made yes. with orange juice and all the other ingredients. Yes, yes. yes. Ta-da. <laughs> that is beautiful, sir. Yes. Fantastic. And I bet it actually tastes better than it looks, and it looks fantastic. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. And a definitely big shout out to Bob Raymond and Meredith Thomas. Uh, we couldn't do this without them. So it's great. Well, we thank you for kind of brightening our day a little bit with something fresh and right from the water garden, as they say. Andre, thank you and happy holidays to you, sir. Thank you. Happy holidays. All right. We're going to post the link on our, of the recipe on our website later today at WTBR.com slash VTM.